The encirclement of London is about to begin and the British will surely see this coming. They have diverted the majority of their planes to the capital and placed their hopes in AA guns to shield the Avon stop line. Breaching the stop line will not be an easy task. Bunkers, infantry and artillery are deployed tactically to repulse anything you threw at them. As part of their defenses, there are also armored units present to assist when the worst comes to the worst. Aside from your core units, we have assigned several Polish artillery units that stood idle after Case White to your army. Furthermore, the Italians have reinforced their units and are awaiting your orders. Will this be enough to change the terrible odds against the enemy? At the northern edge of the map, two locations are marked with a B. A recon unit should occupy both locations before the end of the mission. They must investigate it, investigate if the enemy still possesses an immediate threat to this part of the front. Depending on their findings, you can participate in the battle for London. Yeah, well, <laughs> guess here we are at the Avon stop line and it's funny how giving something like that a name makes it far more intimidating. And yeah, here we have the Avon River. It's going, well, not, not across the map, but yeah, it definitely covers the whole thing here. And this is huge. Um, I don't know, well, it's hard to, to measure distances here if you look at that, but it really looks big. So we have absolutely no information. Um, yeah, there will be strong defenses and hopefully not that many aircraft, but I don't, I'm not too sure if AA guns are, are any better. We'll see about that. But since, yeah, there's not much we can deduct from this. We, we basically have to go forward across the whole front line here because we have targets scattered all around. Uh, we maybe can avoid this area here, but well, we have a lot of deployment space here, some Italians here, so I'm not seeing the point in it. So I think we are going to deploy equally and move ahead straight forward onto the Evan stop line and see about that. And I've already prepared the deployment. Like I said, there's nothing special to it. I did bring up all my units to full strength again, even put one over strength point in most of my units, if not all, I'm not sure now, because we have stored pretty much prestige here. And I think it's time to spend some of it. Because yeah, I feel a little bit intimidated. And I converted one of my infantry units to a Fallschirmjäger because yeah, we have a lot of infantry already and buying a green Fallschirmjäger, well, I have the feeling he's going to die again. So it's better to have a th two 13 strengths um, Fallschirmjägers. Well, that's it. Um, see you at the battlefield. Yeah, here we are. Like I said, let's let's do a quick um, yeah overview of the battlefield. I just deployed like it seemed right. No way to tell if this is good or not. Some planes here, quick infantry units here. Um, the reason behind that is there are no obstacles in our way, so. Maybe we can cover a lot of ground here before we hit Bristol. Yeah, that's Bristol. Then next one here. There's not much space, so try to give every battle group some artillery at least. Some fighters. Not much, much space here as well. We have our single scout here because, um, well, there are Italian scouts present and I hope to keep them alive to 
well, reach those spots here and here. And I'm not sure if we have to capture them uh, or keep a scout positioned at it the whole time, or if we just have to visit it once and then move on. So maybe one scout is enough, but it will be difficult to move him all the way here. So yeah, aiming for two scouts is most likely better. Yeah, the next one, um, same here. I deployed the GPX Eagles here because yeah, there are some hills here and it's not that far to the next target, whatever, and stop line when it comes to that. And yeah, very strong composition here. The most targets are in this half of the map. Yeah, let's take a look at that. So the most targets are in this half of the map. And actually for those two groups, there's only a single target, maybe those two, but a single major target, Bristol, but it's huge. We don't know how many infantry there is in it. And with the river going through it, this will be hard to take. Yeah. Um, well, and I discovered that we don't have any transport planes, so we can't use the Falsi Amigas here. So I got ahead and bought a truck for this Falsi Amiga and will deploy the second one here without the truck because it's a waste of prestige because there are very many targets in our way so we don't have to move a great distance before we are engaging in a fight. Might be the same around here, but we don't know. There might be open spaces here and then it's a pain if you can't go forward and are stranded with your GPX Jägers or your Fallschirmjäger without any transports. So that's the reasoning behind that. Um, I think those two tanks will be important here. They are slow, yes, that's why they are on this side, but they can take a pounding. So if you're going up against infant, uh, artillery and a unit has to take the pounding, those two are the choice, the units of your choice because they most likely won't get damaged. And yeah, we have three spots available. We could deploy three more units, but there's simply not more space. We could use more planes, but we have already two level bombers and four strategic tactical bombers and four fighters, a fifth with the Italian fighter that's somewhere, somewhere. Yeah, here it is. So I think that will be enough. And yeah, I know I said I'm never going in without my fifth fighter again, but they explicitly said not many planes here. And yeah, we have a 88 here. Hope that's enough. But we'll find out soon enough. Let's start it. I think everything is all right. Yeah, let's go for it. Go for it, yeah. So, um, already cloudy weather, that's not ideal because we could have used our planes for some scouting. Now the vision range is reduced. And we see not more than before. Uh, only this time Latingo is in range. So I think we'll deal with him first. Yeah, great start. Doing not even, yeah, a single point of suppression with a 14th ranks artillery. Yeah, that's how you like to start. But to be fair, he is a little bit entrenched and he is in thick forest. So that might not be ideal. Uh, we can't bring up more artillery. But we kind of can use some of the... Wow. Here we go. That was answers. Uh, well, <clears throat> I didn't suspect that. That's already a problem for the Italian tank, tank at least. 
Um, and I really assume the armor is kind of a reserve, the way the briefing said it. And we can't even move in to assist. Yeah, great. Then not doing much damage. I hate the clouds. And yeah, that's not going too well here. But I don't want to use all my fighters already. Because we might still need them to react to things. I yeah, might have used this one. That maybe was not that clever. But it's a little bit um, hard to find the orientation here. Well, the L6 is the only one that can reach, but we might run into trouble along the way. And going up against the Porti for the L6, uh, that might not be the greatest idea. So I guess we'll just use it to get more mass attack bonus. Use the pioneers. I would have liked not to use it, use them that way. But at least now they don't have much vision. And I really hope we have transports on those. Yep, we do. Yeah, let's take a look. Nothing more. Yeah, they only see this Italian tank. Um, he might survive. Or not, we will see about that. And this is thick forest, so they can't go through here. And they can't go in here because they will get stopped, so it's safe to advance our artillery. And maybe the anti tank cannon. We still might get outflanked here, but we'll see about that. Well, looks safe enough. So we are not going to get outflanked. Um, let's advance our tank. The infantry in the open, I'm not too sure about that. Once again, we can use the Bokash here. It will protect us. Kind of. Because they can go this way. But now we can send in the Italian bombers. And would it be great to have, well, sunshine for starters. And I'm fully expecting them to dash forward. Ah, that's bad. Now let's grab the fight down. Well, and my game...
It's extremely laggy. I don't know what happened. All other games work completely normal. Yeah, and the problem here is if we position the artillery behind those two, they will move in here. I'm pretty sure about that. So the only option is go here, but that won't. Yeah, actually that. Yeah, actually that will stop them. And they can't go through the bocage. So let's do it like that. Get the artillery forward. Nah. Well, we can go here. They will get stopped. This might get pounded, but it's the role my scouts are used to. Getting shredded. And for now, there are no more targets for the level bomber. So let's see, we have a scout here. Uh, found something, an enemy scout. Well, they will, they will see us here. And the Stug can't protect them there. But maybe. Yeah, that's an option. Doing nothing, of course. But it reduced the entrenchment, so that might be an opportunity. Eight damage, one taken. But we, we have to expect losses here. But on the bright side now, those are out of vision range. And if they are counterattacking here and That's totally a possibility. Let's take a look. So this area seems to be clear. Um, yeah, very unlikely they can across this forest area here. So we might as well bring forward our artillery. More infantry. And I think the map ends here, yeah. We might be able to trap something. And I'm not expecting this to go forward. Uh, we might lure them onto the onto the infantry here. That could be a problem. Well, and I think I only checked if there is um if there is a transport for them available, but then I made a safe game <laughs> and forgot to... Well, I did buy them, but didn't save it. And then I loaded up immediately and that was the wrong one. Or, well, there is no right one. So, yeah, we don't have a railway line here. So this one is pretty useless.
let's go here. Let's hope they now nah, they might fully do that. So let's concentrate our artillery here. So this group is a little bit weak. We might have sent the stug in this direct. Might have to send the stug in this direction later on. But now let's check planes. Those two maybe will have to fight for themselves because this truck is in vision range. So we might want to build a, a trap here if there are any. There's nothing we can hit. Ah, two damage. I'll take that. This will take the pressure of the, the scout. And then let's see, Italian scout. We found a porti. That might be a job for the Jarby. It will need a little bit of help. Done. And those parties are not very strong, but on the other hand, they can be a pain. Yeah, let's risk it. Okay. They can't break through here. This is a vision range of three, I think. Yep. One, two, three. So we might be able to trap it here. Bring up the L6. All L6 are heroes. And bring forward the artillery. Bring forward more infantry. Bring forward the anti-tank cannon. Then we'll hit the wickers. Three damage, that's disappointing. We definitely want to guard the Stuka. Uh, yeah, still no useful target, so maybe we can neutralize something. Nope, not today. Yeah, nothing we can actually hit, so let's stay in cover. And let's deploy the rest of our units. So we need... The slow units on this side. Then we said this group is a little bit weak, so we'll give them another infantry unit. And the center group will receive pioneers. We might need them. So that's it. All reserves deployed. And then let's await the British turn and let's hope we are not getting um, badly counterattacked here. Wow, that worked. First trap. Six damage in total, like that. The Italian tank is holding. That's good. We expected that. He's holding as well. Ah. 
damn it, I hate the Wickers. Should have expected that. But at least now he's facing the anti-tank cannon. And we're already taking more damage than expected. And sorry, the game is extremely slow, but I have no idea why. Place an infantry unit on the location marked with an A to repair the bridge nearby. Okay, that's here. That's good to know because we wouldn't be able to cross here. We don't have to, but it might be useful. Whew, but now, Sunny weather, let's pay them back and yeah, I guess we have to do more thinking here. That wasn't a great start. So let's use the unit first in the back that can do nothing for scouting, then fire the artillery shots we can. Um, well, you can do nothing, but this one can shoot here, so I'm prepared to move up here. Can't find anything. So now this is completely suppressed. Can move in this direction, hurt that a little bit more. Then we could try to force a surrender here. We need a lot of units. No, that might not be the smartest idea. Well, actually, no, we can't get around. Nope. Let's simply, well, there weren't any aircraft. Ah, doing nothing again. That's not fair. And the Panther 3, he can take a pounding so we can put him to the front. Force this one back into the bocage and get rid of it. Ah, should have used the Earth Ranks. Uh, mass attack bonus here. But never mind. Then we will scout this forest. Nothing here. Well, Bristol is not that far away. I did send it in this direction just to make sure not to get flanked. And then we do have to get some scouting in here. That way, by going around, we are uncovering more. The Valentine, pretty damaged now. And he's right here. We can fire it uh, with our Italian anti-tank cannon. Gone. I like that. And that's it, Porti dispatched, send forward the L6, it's a total non-core unit so we won't get anything or get 
get it back. This one the same. Ugh. Mines. But now we know a lot more. There's still a dark area here. So we are totally, well, the British are not in vision range. So let's use the fighter to scout. So we are safe here. That's good news. Because now we can get, take some risks moving ahead and protecting ourselves with the Stuka in case something, ah, not the Stuka, the Stuk, we'll just mix them up. Yeah, one moment, more tea. Yeah. Let's take a look. We covered a lot of ground already. And the losses, well, they were not that bad. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, we have nothing in range here, so we might as well fire at it. And again, I want to cover, well, do we, do we have to protect anything? No. Let's double check. No. So I want to make sure not to get outflanked, but it's wouldn't be that bad. So we have slow units. We'll move them first to get a better idea what we are facing here. Well, for now, not much. Let's use the L6. Let's get the first look at the Evan stop line here. Um, couldn't go back, <laughs> but that's not that bad. Um, if they want to go into the river, that's okay. If we take a pounding here, that's not as bad either. And of course, there's mines. Let's bring forward the infantry to clear them out. So they can't cross here. That might be a good opportunity to get in, well, at least a trap possibility. Let's fire at the mines. We have no, no pioneers in the area. I'm not sure if those are mine, if those, I'm not sure how, how many points we can take from them. Then let's get a better look here. Now we found the mines, fully expected that. If they want to go in the river, be my guest. Let's get artillery into position.
Now we have this group. Um, ah, still enemy up ahead. Let's get rid of them. Or not. That's totally fine. <laughs> We have our Italian fighters or fighter bombers. They can totally do it. Nothing in the way. Seems safe enough. Well, I would like to scroll. Let's move the pioneers in this direction because I'm fully expecting more mines here. Um, yeah, let's move in this direction to get a shot at him. And Save here. Whew, and this is a, a really huge map. Let's see. Let's use the Italian fighter to scout. We should take this airfield pretty easily. Nothing in the way, so we are safe to advance here. And yeah, maybe clear out those mines? No. Well, it's not completely pointless because it adds to the kills of this unit, I think, and that will increase its chance to get the hero. But, yeah, and since we have nothing to do, let's pump the mines. Let's get some scouting done. Yeah, and we can't do anything here. The airfield is really far out of the way, so let's get this Duca back. Keep the fighters in a defensive position. This one, yeah, actually refuel. Yeah, that's it. And well, <laughs> like I said, this map is absolutely huge and I have no idea what's going on. But the resistance so far wasn't that bad. Um, we had some losses, but in general, we are doing fine. And we covered a lot of ground. We have a lot of turns, so I'm fully expecting there will be 
extremely fierce resistance ahead. So let's end the turn and see what they can throw at us. Yeah, doing nothing. I like that. That looks good. They're going back, knock forward. I don't like that. At least we have great weather. And place an inf any infantry unit on the location marked with an A to repair the bridge nearby. Yeah, that's here. So I'm not sure, maybe... No, no, let's not do a break. Let's do this turn and then we'll make a break. But I'm sorry, those turns really take a long time. And... Well, we absolutely need engineers here. A good thing we brought them. But this way we are not good getting through here. At least they can't move towards us. So I'm not planning on getting rid of all the uh, all the minefields. Yeah, but that's tricky. What's the vision range on this one? Four. So the Matilda here is fully visible. They might go for it. Yeah, it's very unlikely they are hiding infantry here. Don't care if they attack with anything else. There's no artillery in the back. So I assume it's safe to go forward. Three damage. I totally like that. And we might be able to... Whittle this minefield down without having an engineer here. Let's take a look. What's this? It's a recon. Uh, entrenchment level 6. So it might be worth dodging to dig it out. On the other hand, hitting the end. Well, we'll clear the minefield next time anyway, so. Ah. Didn't do anything. But that should be better. If they fancy to go onto this swamp river, they will get pounded. So I'm not too worried about that. And we will have well, we have we have the Wolfram in here, so this is not an issue. We can get through. We'll offer the Char B for the artillery, so it has a target. We might want to use the L6 here. So that's better chances to, to destroy the minefield without having to use this infantry again. But I'm confident we can break through here. So this part of the Evan stop line, um, yeah, it seems strong, but this one is breakable and 
it's not well actually maybe it's not even necessary to to break through here we can get it from behind we only have to breach it on certain positions i didn't think that through um Yeah, so let's move back. It seems much easier to go through here and then spread out. But we'll totally attack Bath, I think. Or do we? We could the same here. This seems to be a weak spot. Uh, not sure. First, we have to take this ear, um, this ear field here. That's very important. We have to take this ear field. Yep, just like that. Oh, <laughs> that's not fair. The hangar was filled with explosives. Any grounds you did in the blast with really this suffered casualties. Yeah, yeah. You are sneaky bastards, I know. But now the airfield is ours. At least it didn't completely explode. And got unusable because that would be the death of this fighter. Um. Well, and the minefield does run out of ammo. <laughs> That's interesting. So you, you can level bomb minefields. I know it's not, not useful, but let's try it. Yeah, it's out of ammo. <laughs> I think that's a bug. <laughs> so the question is, can we attack it without yeah. This now is disabled, officially disabled. It has 100 ammo, so this level bomber did a great job here. And yeah, we totally discovered another one. But this is pretty dangerous here. But this is a great way to gain experience. So, but now... Maybe it's a good idea to... Um, repair this bridge and, and see what we get from it. Well, no minefields this time. I like that. And maybe they feel like attacking here. I definitely feel like reducing the entrenchment levels. And yeah, because of the bocage, it should be safe to bring up the artillery. And I don't know, I think we are done on this side. Use the L6 for more scouting. Aha! Found the minefield. Perfect. That's a good use for the L6.
and we might need more focus here. I'm just heading forward more or less blindly. Ah, no, don't want to do that. So, let's bring the engineers in this direction. We should be safe here. Maybe another tank. Minefield? Knew it. But the minefields are blocking their movement as well. And we can go towards Bristol that way. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure. It might be best to breach like here and then. Well, just overwhelm them from the back. And we definitely have to. Well, we definitely have to advance here because we do want to go for Bristol. Um, well, there will be mines, I'm pretty sure about that. Let's carefully check what's lying ahead of us. Apparently not much. We should be safe behind the hills and the swamp. Hmm. Not much we can do. Fighters. some something at least let's use the time to review um, well are there any more airfields in the area nope nope so we will have to use one in the back here. Got them. If you Yeah, there's nothing else we can do. So, yeah, well, what's that? Oh, that always confuses me, but there's are the minefields. Um, so there, well, level bombers are a pretty neat way to disable minefields, by the way. Um, yeah, there's not too much happening now. Uh, well, we covered half of the map. We did make contact with the Evans stop line on half of the map as well, on the eastern half. We will do soon on the western half. We are pretty safe. I think we can breach here 
and I don't I I really think the worst idea will be to tackle the Evan stop line over the whole line here so maybe we are not even attacking Bristol from the front might be a good idea to somehow circumvent it maybe on this side because because of the a here they might not expect that so that could be the smart move here or the well the obvious move more or less same here we might want to cross here and hit them from the back and not from the front but well the resistance here doesn't look extremely strong. We can breach here. This doesn't seem to be a way we want to go in, so that's much easier to hit from the back because then those two um, anti tank cannons are worth nothing. They can't even move because of the mines. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. That might be a battle plan. So, already an hour almost an hour so let's end the video here and see you next time bye